Good evening, everybody. Can you hear me? Good evening. Good evening. Yes, I okay. can hear you. Good, 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 good. Okay. All right. Hello, everybody. Wonderful to see you guys again. Um, okay, well, I see many of you connected, but I'm not sure if you're there. Are you guys there? I can't see your cameras. Okay, wonderful. Hello, Heidi. Thank you for connecting, even though I know you're you're busy. <laughs> Hello, good I'm driving on my way home. Yeah, <laughs> I can see that, but thank you. Thank you for connecting. Okay. Hello, Anna Claudia. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Good, good. How are you? I'm doing very well. It's hot here, the weather. Oh, I miss, I miss the hot. <laughs> you, yeah, you're cold. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm feeling a little better now because I, I went to, to buy yesterday some, some clothes that are a little more appropriate for winter. Oh, okay. So I'm, I'm feeling a little better, better now. Okay, mm -hmm. great. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, David. Welcome. Sorry, I am here. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Bye. Bon appetit. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know if Eliana is there, but welcome. And uh, Fernando, is Fernando there? I'm yes, sure. I'm sure. Okay, wonderful. Welcome. Okay. Um, and let me see who else. Roberto, is Roberto here? Not sure. Roberto, are you here? No? Okay. Uh, yeah, I can't say. Okay. Hello, William. Welcome. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Do you prefer to be called William or Alexander? William. It's okay. William. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. Very, very good. Okay. Um, well, welcome, Dora. Dora Elizabeth. Are you there? Yes. Okay, Hello. okay. Hello, welcome. How are you? I'm fine. Good, good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. And David, someone? I oh, know David, someone, I remember. Forget it. I, I see you're double. <laughs> okay, good. Um, Roberto Luis? Roberto Luis, are you there? No, still not there. Yeah. Jose Osmin? Yes, I'm here. Okay, welcome. Um, do you have access to your camera? I have to connect it with a, another device. Oh, okay. Wonderful. Okay. Sure. okay. Great. Yeah, we'll we'll wait for you so that you can you can connect it. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. Um, welcome to today's class. Just give me a moment. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, well, it's good to see you again. Um, how was your so so you say that right now it's really hot over there huh what's the temperature like right now here in my town let mm -hmm. me see i guess is it's showing 30 31 here in santana 
31. Wow. Celsius. And it's, mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's like eight o'clock. <gasps> yeah. So so during the day, it must have been like 35 or yeah. something. Yeah. I don't know why it's February, but I don't know why. Yeah. Well, the weather is, is so crazy. <laughs> yeah. Maybe March is going to be a very, very oh, hot definitely. month. Wow. Okay. Can you imagine in April, the Holy Week? Hmm? Mm, yeah, that's going to be very bad. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, right now, uh, it's um, it's five degrees here, but it feels yeah. like like zero. My goodness. Mm -hmm. Wow. I've been just suffering with, uh, I remember in one place, it was like around eight degrees, but I was freezing. I was with gloves and Ah, all covered. <laughs> the yeah. type of I mean, that you don't have gloves or something on your head. Yeah, I, <laughs> I had to. I had to go out and buy all of the winter clothes because, yeah, uh, yeah I, I without the winter clothes you cannot survive. Yeah, I just can't mm -hmm. imagine. Yeah, <laughs> definitely not. Okay, all right, guys. Eh, chicos, me pueden ayudar por favor con sus camaritas porque sí. Si, eh, solo realmente veo a, a cuatro conectados en realidad. Eh, entonces, o sea, que los puedo ver eh, porque mm, quiero ver, o sea. Eh, no sé qué ha pasado con Liliana, está ahí, pero no la veo. Y los demás, ok, ahí está. Oh, sorry, okay. teacher, I'm just having dinner right now. Oh, ok, that's ok. I just, I just wanted to make sure that you were there. Ok, <laughs> yes. I'm okay. here. <laughs> ok, good, 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 good. Ok, excellent. Ok, eh, y, well, ok, wonderful. Uh, Marcos, eh, do me a favor. Uh, ¿Cree que se puede um, conectar ahí con su nombre completo como aparece en el Dewey? Porque si no, vamos a tener problemitas. Ok. Um, quiero ver también Fernando, Fernando, Roberto, José Osmín, Harvin, Isaac. Necesito que me enciendan las cámaras para saber que realmente están allí. No sé qué. Si están conectados, o sea, en realidad se est están ahí o solo han conectado su, su aparato. Entonces, eh, si me hacen ese gran favor, ¿verdad? Ok. Eh, no sé si soy yo solamente yo, pero uh, Dora, usted está teniendo problema con su cámara. Sí, estoy teniendo problemas y quien no, desde ayer no sé qué es lo que pasa. Uh -huh, ok, ok. Sí, porque... Sí, no, estaba notando que no, que no la veo clara, como, sí. que, como que el video se, se, se frisa, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, pero bueno, lo importante es que está ahí, ¿verdad? Y podemos, podemos verla, eso es lo importante. Uh -huh. Ok. All right, guys, well, let's start with the, with the attendance, sorry, not the attendance, um, it, uh, with, the, with the class. Um, yesterday, we were talking about um the it was it called the the vocabulary related to the ICT right can somebody remind me what is ICT information and communication technology excellent very good information and communications technology what does that mean I mean, I know what, like, I know that that's the, the, what, the, the, the abbreviation, but, um, the, or the acronym, but what does it mean? Um, it, that means in the, in the, all of the systems, all of the devices, all of the networking components, all of the applications, all of the software that a lot of people, a lot of organizations uh, to interact in the digital world. That is the, the definition of uh, information and communication technologies. Excellent. I love how you put that into perspective. That's exactly what it is. Very good. So it's all of those devices that allow us to communicate in the digital world. And of course, for, for our 
um, for our work, uh, we obviously need to be able to communicate uh, with a, with different um, you know people at a work, right? Whether it's with our colleagues, with our superiors, with um, a, with uh, the clients, right? So it's very important that we are able to um, identify which of these um, ICTs we are, are using and how they are helpful for us, okay? So yesterday we were, um, we we're talking about- It's amazing teaching uh, the evolution of communication. When I was a child many, many, many years ago, the phones, the telephones don't have a, a, a numbers, don't have a, a way that you can uh, select a number. You need to use a uh, generator in every phone. You that uh, generate the electricity that phone needed, and then you pick up the the phone, and somebody in the other side, uh, the operator, made all of the work. It was many many years. And now it's so easy the communication. It is it's amazing the evolution. Yes. Yes, very good. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Imagine, yeah, like you said, it was before it was so difficult to communicate with with um with everybody, you know, uh, and now it's just so easy. Just imagine, for example, just this class. Just imagine how much ICT is being used in this class, yeah. right? Uh, for example, I am literally thousands of kilometers away and I am here communicating with you like I was right next door <laughs> right so it's pretty amazing right yeah okay good good um chicos todavía estoy un poquito confusa si están conectado eh, algunos alumnos acá no no sé okay hey hello Heidi <laughs> excellent you you made it home. Okay. Excellent. Um, okay, todavía sí estoy viendo. Um Harvin. No sé si Harvin Roberto. Ahí está. Okay, excelente. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. As I told you yesterday, I have problem with my camera, but I'm going to buy a new camera on Saturday. Oh. So next week I I'm going to be connected with my camera on. Okay. But I have to say, uh, right now I am studying in the university, mm -hmm. and Sunday I have to be to I have to go to the university, and I finish my class at a. So Sundays I going to be connecting, but with my camera off because I have to drive to the university to my home. Okay. Okay. But I I I'm going to to chat this day, and I going to tell you. Wonderful. Because okay. it's, it's not every single day that I have to go mm -hmm. because it's, I don't know who say in English, semi-presencial. Mm -hmm. okay. And Sunday I have to go and Sunday I don't have to go. Okay, I understand. No problem. It, what you can also do is connect from the from your your um, your cell phone. You can connect while you are uh, driving, and um, a, you can also have the camera on. You know, so that we know that you're there. You know, so there's no problem. Because remember that these classes are um, audited by by Insa Forb, right? So they need to know that you're there. Okay, yeah, so yeah. that so. So you can do that as well, okay? All right, thank you. Thank you for letting me know, Harvin. When you when you get a camera, we'll we'll um, hopefully we'll we'll be able to um, see you face to face, <laughs> okay? Um, and uh, Jose Osmin. Yeah, I'm here. Oh, okay, okay. Put it in. So okay. I got it. So you are on two devices. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. But uh, all right. No problem then. Gotcha. Um, quiero ver quién más. Roberto. Roberto, are you there? Roberto Luis, está ahí.
Ok, bueno. Ok, en unos cuantos minutos vamos a tomar asistencia, así de que por favor tengan eh, en cuenta eso para que podamos encender las cámaras cuando eh, se tome asistencia, porque sí necesitamos tanto oír su voz como ver su carita, ¿verdad? Para poder tomar asistencia. Ok, all right guys, um, so before we begin, um, Where we begin? Okay, so uh, we're going to, uh, just give me a moment. Okay, um, please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Wonderful. Okay, so this yes, is teacher. perfect. Excellent. So this is the advanced number uh, level four. Almost finished, guys. Imagine a little, just a little bit more, and we're done. <laughs> okay. So, and the date today is uh, Thursday, February second, two thousand twenty twenty-three, and your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. Okay. So. Um, let's see. Oops. Just a second. Let me see if I can go to the next slide. Oh, okay. No, it doesn't go to the next slide for some reason. Okay, let's go to the next slide over here. Okay, all right, so we have key terms related to the ICT. So these are the vocabulary that we saw yesterday. We have ICT systems, feasible studies, um, 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 GIGO, and broadband. So we talked about this um, yesterday. Um, we, we, we brainstormed with our partner, you know, with our, our and then with, um, uh, then we did it, um, we compared the answer with our next partner to see if you had similar ideas. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to share, okay? So I'm going to be choosing different people to give me one, the definition, and another person to give me an example. Okay, sounds good. All right, so we're gonna start. Okay, we'll start with um, uh, Roxana. Welcome, Roxana. Okay, Hi, so good evening. good evening. Okay, so Roxana, um, we start with ICT systems. Can you tell me in your own words, what is an ICT system? Okay, well, ICT system is a group of devices working together with a process, with a, some a specific process, uh, maybe uh, to develop some um, ERP, for example. I, I was uh, imagining that uh, when you are working in uh, ERP, uh, you need to uh, develop different uh, uh, like models, for example, when you are working in Oracle, you need to um, financial module or GL module or different. So maybe uh, the ICT mm -hmm. uh, technology system is when uh, the ERP uh, process information to um, give a um, maybe a, a report at the end of the month, uh, uh, but in the um, consolidate form, is okay? Consolidate form. Uh, yeah, I imagine that is when you have a different, um, uh, what? Different uh, important, um, pieces in your um, ERP, I was talking about ERP, uh, but uh, they need to work together to uh, print a 
correct information. So the different models needs to uh, work in, in the same way to uh, <clears throat> consolidate that information. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, very good, excellent. Okay, all right. Um, okay, do we agree with this? Do we want to add anything else? Anybody else want to, uh, if you want to add something or shall we go on to the example? Uh, I think that it's okay. It's all the system, all devices, all of the software that they get connected to working the digital world. It's, it's a very, very, definition yes exactly yeah yeah so the system in includes all the devices right okay yes. any any device that is used for those information and communication technology any any devices very good okay in, in, um, an, exa an example i think an example in in my in my class eighth grade class uh, i have a computer i have a the class of the computer i have a the, the computer connected to a smart TV. The students have uh, uh, their books in their devices. And when I need to give them some important data, I give, I send them a, a picture and all of them get the picture and, and they can take notes or they can uh, uh, keep the, the, the picture for future information. I think this is a, an ECT system. Yeah. Working, working, yes. Okay, I, ICT. Yeah, ICT, so, yes. Mm -hmm. Very good, excellent, excellent, very good example. Okay, any other example you guys want to give? No? Okay, all right, but that's a very, very good example, yeah, exactly. So, um, you, you send out the picture, right, and... Um, you use different device, like how, so um, David, in your classes, how do you send the pictures? What, what um, method I do you the use? Picture, I set the picture in the, in, in a platform, in the Teams, Teams platform. All mm. of the students have a, have a, a an, account. an account. Yes, an account. And, and I put the picture in the, in the class, in the class. Mm -hmm. And all of they get the picture, yes. It's on yeah. audio and it's on, a, another information that they need to get. Okay, so you use Microsoft Teams. So Microsoft Teams is part of your okay. ICT system. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very good. Yes. Excellent, excellent. Okay, all right. And of course, it's not just the software, but also um, using the, the computers, right? So the computers yes. are also part of the system, right? The laptops and things like that. Excellent. And cell phones, right? Because sometimes uh, some students may not have a computer, but they have a cell phone. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Uh, next, let's call, let's talk about feasibility study. Uh, who can help me? Let's see. Um, um, oh, uh, let me see. I saw somebody putting up their hand, who was putting up their hand? Who put up their hand? I saw someone. Me, teacher. <laughs> oh, okay, wonderful, go ahead. Okay, um, what I understand with feasibility study is when maybe, no, not maybe, I understand that. Uh, you can uh, put this in practice when maybe you have a project and you need to know the probability of success. So you make this analysis and consider many aspects that are important to define whether it is convenient or not uh, for the company, for the client. So when you have something new, a product or service, and you, you wanna know if this is going to be successful. So you have to do this analysis just to ensure uh, that everything is okay. Excellent, very good, very, very good. What is, what is feasibility? Do you guys, can you explain the, just the word feasibility? In Spanish or? 
Mm, no, let's no. Let's, okay. let's try to do it in English. But like, what is the meaning? What's the, what's the essence of that word? Feasibility. It's like um, maybe when something is, I don't know how to say that. Mm, that is that if something is going to work in the right way, maybe. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. That it that like the like something it have to be. Yeah. Yeah. So, like for example, the word feasible is something that is possible to do, right? That it it, it can be done. That it can work. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Very very good. Perfect. Thank you very much, Eliana. Okay. My pleasure, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see. Um, okay, I'm going to try to find someone that was here yesterday. Uh, Harvin, can you give me an example of a feasibility study? Oh, it's a little bit difficult to me, teacher, because I didn't, I don't get the principal idea about this work. I have to be honest about that. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, yesterday when you were working, uh, who were you working with? I was working with Dora. Uh-huh. Okay, okay. Um, and with Dora, you couldn't, um, you couldn't understand it? Not, not so much? You didn't get the, uh, the idea or? Dora, did you get the idea? Yes. Okay, wonderful. All right. Can you share with us what uh, what you understood by um, or an example of a feasibility study? Uh, for example, when when uh, the government uh, uh, build a, a road, is necessary a factibility study. Or build a, 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 a neighbors, neighborhoods or house. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when they, they, they build a road or neighborhoods. Okay, oh. good. All right. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yes, very good. So they have to make a study to see if it's possible to, to make that, that, that road. Very good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, can you, can you repeat after me? Feasibility study. Feasibility study. Good. Feasibility. Feasibility. Yeah. Very good. Okay. All right. Um, Geigo. Talk about Geigo. Um, let's see. Harvin. Uh, do, did you get that one? Kaigo, I remember, is garbage in and garbage out. Mm -hmm. Very good. Garbage in, garbage out. So that's what the, the meaning. Can you explain in your words what that means? Okay. I was remember that we were talking about the some example. Is for example, when you are working in Excel and you enter a ground data, you're going to receive or you're going to get a uh, wrong information because you are you are enter a uh, a wrong information about okay okay so how in your own words how can without don't not giving me an example but how would you okay. explain gaigo mm. okay gaigo for example okay in my words i can i say that it is when you are Doing a bad job, I don't know. Say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For that, you're going to receive a about result. Very good. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So you not you don't uh, do a very good job because you put in wrong information, and so you're going to get results that are that are not good. That are not yeah. Excellent. Very good. All right. Um, Ana Claudia, can you give me an example of Geigo? 
Yes, teacher. Uh, yesterday, that term it was new for me, but Fernando was explaining me better. Mm -hmm. And what I understand is, uh, for example, in my Android cell phone, I have a lot of uh, gadgets or things that I don't know what they are for there, but they must be there. And if I delete them, maybe could cause like an error in the system mm -hmm. so it's like not a fake data it's uh, like a program that they are there maybe they are not significant at all by their own it's bad uh, they are the complement for uh something else that is uh, what i understood and I made the reference with my cell phone because it's the best way that I understand or sometimes in the computer we have process running that they are the complement for a for other programs but at the time for they are making updates they install things that we don't use that is kind of garbage because it's not something we use but it comes by default with the updates for example Mm -hmm. That is what I understood. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, Geico um, also can 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 be um, understood in that way, in the sense that um, you're right. It's in a way it's that garbage because you don't really need that information. But um, but once but if you uh, like if you so it's inform it's garbage that it goes in right mm -hmm. but if you don't let it go in sometimes it 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 makes it um come out in a wrong way right mm -hmm. um so uh yeah i i and, and say for i don't know if you guys have have had this happen to you but sometimes i'm like i need to make space on my mm -hmm on my cell phone okay. and mm -hmm. I start deleting things that I think I don't need. And in the <laughs> end, something doesn't work. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Broadband. Let's talk about broadband. Who can help me with the broadband? Chris? Um, Haiti? Are you there by any chance, Heidi? Sure, teacher. Okay, wonderful. I remember that broadband is about um, uh, the capacity of the communication and the quality of the communication. Mm -hmm. Exactly, very good. It's, if it is enough as to communicate lots of, lots of messages at the same time. Excellent, perfect. I love that definition. Very good. Okay. Um, example of broadband. Sorry. Example of broadband. Get a bit. Get a bit. Can the Wi Fi be an example of broadband? Uh huh. The, the quality of the communication you get when you connect through Wi Fi. Mm -hmm. I I I I can see in the, in the in the broadband like a, on a highway of uh, you have a highway of two three uh, spaces or so two three ways that the car we go and there are another wider of you have a, a nine or ten uh, routes of that uh, car can go uh, that we have a more space and more capability, more more uh, more uh, information flow in a better way. I think I don't know. Yes, you're right. Can you give me an example, though? Well, I I, I was when I was uh, uh, all of us uh, was starting in, in using uh, the internet. Uh, we need to use a, a, a telephone line. We need to, we, we hear some uh, noise that tee, 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 tee. and uh, the data was one for one. And you, uh, 
upload or download one file, it was so slow. But because it was a narrow band. Mm -hmm. But uh, with the, uh, now it is a, it is so fast because it's wider. Exactly. Yeah, we can we can think of it like a like a road, right? Okay. So if you have this road that only has two lanes, right, and you have many many cars, uh, it's obviously going to take more time for all the cars to go by. But if you have a road that has four or five lanes right then it's easy for all the cars to go by quickly right and not and the <clears throat> the cars don't have to be waiting so much for them to go by so the same thing happens with the messages right if you have a a broadband sorry if you have a narrow band um it's going to take longer for the messages to go by right because they have to wait their turn let's say for them to go by but if you have a wide band, then the messages go quickly, right? Because um, they are, they have uh, more space, let's say, to be able to go by. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Very good. All right, you guys got it. Any questions about this? These um, terms? No, teacher. No. Okay. Perfect. Oh. All right, I'm going to stop for a moment because I need to take attendance. I haven't taken attendance yet, so let's do that. Um, just a moment. Okay. All right, guys. So I need you. I need your cooperation. I need you guys to um, not have your 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 camera on. And please tell me if you're present. You know, say presente or present, whatever you prefer, right? But I need to hear your name to your 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 voice too. Okay. All right. So Anna Claudia. Yes, teacher. Wonderful. Okay. Um, Samuel. Da, da, sorry, David. Samuel. Present teacher. Wonderful. Uh, Dora Elizabeth. Present. Excellent. Fernando Ernesto. Present. Wonderful. Fernando Marvin. Fernando Marvin. No, 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 Sorry, teacher present. Okay, okay, thank you. Uh, Ileana? Present, teacher. Wonderful. Uh, Harvin? Present, teacher. Wonderful. Uh, Jose Marcos Rodriguez? Present. Okay. Uh, Jose Usmin? Jose Osmin? Sorry, present. Okay. All right. Uh, Jose Wilfredo. Jose Wilfredo. No? Uh, Juan Miguel? Juan Miguel, Ramón Enrique, Ramón Enrique, 
está, no está. Veo que está conectado, pero no sé si está ahí. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. No, 35 aquí, 45. Entre el centro y la. Ok. Uh, Roberto Luis. Roberto Luis. Roberto Luis. También veo que está conectado, pero no sé si está allí. Roberto Luis. Ok. Um, Ro, eh, Roxane Ivette. Present. Ok, very good. William Alexander. Present. Wonderful, welcome. And Suleima, Suleima Ivonne. Ok, ¿alguien sabe algo de Suleima? Que es, me parece raro de Suleima, que hace falta. No, nobody knows. Ok, all right. Ok, all right guys, thank you. Um, Okay, so, so now that we understand um, the, let's say the, um, the vocabulary uh, related to the ICT, we're also going to be learning more vocabulary, okay? So um, I want you to tell me if uh, you can, You, um, if you can see my PowerPoint. Not yet. You are not sharing now. No, okay, just give me a moment then. Let's try it again. Okay, can you see it now? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right, perfect. Okay, so here we have some more vocabulary. We have input and output formats, the IP address, the all-in-one concept, and mass media. Okay, so again, these are also concepts related to um, the ICT, but... Um, Yeah, we need to be able to, again, identify not only uh, what the meanings are, but try to understand like in your own words, because like I said, we're going to, if, if we do it like just, um, you know, investigate what the internet says, then we're going to end up with the same uh, information, everybody. And I don't want that. What I want you to really is understand what this vocabulary means. So what we're going to do this time is we're going to be working not in pairs, but in groups, okay? Um, and we're going we're gonna to actually have, uh, this is going to be a little bit easier because I'm going to just ask you to investigate one word okay just one that's it okay but you with that one word you have to explain the meaning and the the and, and give an example okay so um i'm going to be uh i'm going to be dividing the class into four groups each group is going to investigate one word only one okay so it shouldn't be that difficult just one word. And then you're going to explain, that group is going to explain to the rest of the class uh, what the meaning is. Okay, does that sound good? Do we understand? Yes, teacher. Yes. All yeah. right, perfect, perfect. Okay, so um, I'm going to, um, hold on, give me a moment. My two devices need to be in the same group, teacher. Yeah, that's that, that's exactly what I was thinking, that we're going to have to uh, make sure that we have uh, people. Let me see. I'm going to give me a moment to see if.
Okay, I don't, just a moment, guys. Okay, so David is in two devices. David, David, yes. David. Okay, move to computer. Who else is on two devices? I saw there somebody else. He must have signed those. I was in two devices, but I removed one of them. Okay, okay. So nobody else is on two devices? No? Okay, all right. So I'm going to, um, uh, I'm going to uh, divide you guys into the groups and uh, in the top, like the name of your group is going to say what uh, vocabulary um, or yeah, what vocabulary you're going to be um, finding out about, okay? So just give me a moment while I prepare this. Like I said, it shouldn't be that difficult because it's just it's just um one word, right? But we do need to have uh, the meaning in your own words and um, and an example. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. So um, at the top of your group, it should say the word that you're going to be investigating. Okay. All right. So I'm not going to give you very much time. I'm only going to give you six minutes because it's only one word. Okay. You ready? Yes. Okay. All right. Let's open the rooms. I don't know if my device is not working, but return me to the main session. Let me try if can. Always return me to the main session. I don't know what's happening. Okay, let me let me try again. One, let's try it one more time. Well, actually, what's weird is that I'm sending you. I'm sending you to the group. Uh, hmm. Okay, well, we're gonna do something. I'm going to send you to, um, um, I'm gonna send you to the waiting room. I'm gonna let you back in and I'm going to uh, put you again into the, into the, to one of the rooms, okay? Okay, um, so I just came in, breakout room. No, pero que raro, no me parece que. Okay, let me try one more time. We're going to try something else.
Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Hello, Juan Miguel. How are you? Oh, but, uh, good, good, good. I'm just give me a moment. Uh, David, entonces lo que va a tener que pasar es de que va a tener que, um, va a tener que uh, re, um, salirse y volver a ingresar al, a la clase porque um, si tenemos, dejémoslo así por este momento porque ya casi vamos a terminar, ¿verdad? Eh, pero si le vuelve a pasar, va a tener que hacer eso, va a tener que salirse de, de la clase y volver a entrar. ¿Ok? Uh, Juan Miguel, um, let me see if I can assign you. Uh, I'm going to assign you right now a group and you can join them, ¿ok? All right. One device. Yeah. One device and it could, it you, can do a lot of things. Find, that's right, that we can find a lot of functions in mm -hmm. order to use it. Okay. Yeah, so I, I just found uh, two like uh, part of the, the definitions and it says here, uh that is like the the, so the the machines that that we can find is such as a printer and a scanner so it is it, it was the, the example that i just found here the machine is able to perform the functions usually performed by two or more separate machines such as printer and scanner the concept you're looking it is in the title on the top so in the the left corner mm -hmm. only one concept Do you find it Dora by any chance no. we'll type it here you can check the chuck the chuck so you can find only one concept okay. it's like the definition right that we're looking for but i'm not sure so that is related just with technology or yeah, it has to be, right? Yeah, it has to be. Mm -hmm. I was checking here.
Good evening, teacher. Your mic. Okay. Go <laughs> Hello, Fernando. How are you? Oh, fine, teacher. I'm late, right, but fine. Okay, good, good. Uh, Fernando, do me a favor. I need you to put, um to come in with your complete name. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Wonderful. Thank you. Okay. All right. Are we ready? Did we get the? Were we able to to get enough information to explain the meaning and give an example? Yes. Or do you guys need more time? It's good. Yes. I think we got it to share with, with the group. That okay. We are ready. You're ready. OK, everybody's ready? Yeah. OK, yeah. wonderful. All right, let's start then. OK, so we'll start with the input output formats. OK, so um, somebody, in, you can choose one person in your group to explain the meaning, and another person can give an example. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you or Jeremy want to give the 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 definition, and I'm going to provide the example. Okay, no problem. Okay, Harvin, we're okay. Ready. The information that we found and that we were discussing about input and output format is that, for example, input is the information that you enter in your device and your computer on another system that you are using and output is the information that is go out the, the system or the computer. It is the format that you give the information. Okay, okay very, very and good. It was confusing because there is a lot of information right there because every program for every system has input and output output format. So the best example we found mm -hmm. is with a document, a Word document. Mm -hmm. uh, if you are fulfilling a form, uh, the, the input format shows, for example, the way how you must write date. In US, first you, or in Spanish, you put the day, the month, the year first. But if you go to another country, it is sometimes a switch. First, you write the month, then the day, and then the year, right? Mm -hmm. Like in American format. So the input format determine what you are going to write or which information you are going to fill in that form or format you are using. And the output format is if you are going to print that document you are fulfilling, you decide how the paragraphs goes or uh, the formatting of the printing area. Uh, all the extended, let's, we understood like the aesthetic, aesthetical thing, aesthetical format. The aesthetics. Aesthetic, ah, okay. The aesthetics. Mm -hmm. Aesthetic, okay, aesthetic. Uh, that is what we could find out that to better understand mm -hmm. the, these, these uh, words. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good, excellent. Very, very good. Okay, um, what about the rest of you? Do you understand uh, from the explanation that group number one gave us? Do you understand what an input output formats are? Because if you don't, you can ask. You can ask that group. Hey, the voluntary will answer, she said. No. <laughs> okay, I like that. So one explains, other gives the example, and the other one answers. Answer. <laughs> okay. mm -hmm. Yeah, 
that works. So everybody understands it because it's important. You guys need to understand the concept of input output formats. So if you don't understand, you can ask. I, I think yes, teacher. What well, the the ways that we give information to the system and the way that we get out the information of the system. I, I understand something like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Okay. All right. So everything is clear, right? I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. All right. Let's go on to the next group. Group number two is the IP address. Well, the IP. Mm -hmm. Yes, go ahead, Roxana. The, okay, the IP address is um, like a unique number or series of numbers to uh, identify uh, devices in a network or local network. For example, uh, when we have a agreement with uh, Tigo, we get a. Um, modem or I guess it's the name, but uh, when you uh, get an ethernet connection, uh, private, private ethernet private. connection in your house, private, private, private internet connection, you have um, like a unique number. So that unique number is um, called like a, um, it's like a group of devices. For example, in my in my in my case, I have connection for my cell phone, for my cell phone, son, my father's uh, father's uh, uh, cell, and the others. So uh, we use a specific uh, IP address. So the information uh, is between that uh, IP address. It's like a unique number uh, when you uh, receive um, different uh, net uh, internet connection you uh, I, I I understand that you when you uh, are visiting for example Pasamundo or a public place you receive another IP address because you don't have your personal um, connection. Uh, like when you are in your house. So that numbers, I don't know why is the meaning for each, each one, but uh, I have an example here. Uh, on a, an example address might be uh, 192.003 or etc. But uh, in each uh, position, uh, they have like a range uh, from zero to 255. And you have, um, in this case, you have uh, a specific uh, limit to devices to connect. For example, if I have uh, 300 devices, I maybe I can't connect all my devices to my uh, pri private, private internet connection. Yeah, but I don't understand at all about that. Maybe uh, Fernando Cosme can explain something about that because I think that they are working on that and they can explain more. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. Uh, well, uh, the my, my, my mate uh, mentioned about it, which if you want uh, to connect more devices in a private network, uh, well, it's, it's, it's possible if you use maybe another router and you, you can have a, you, you can do a bridge between the, the two routers uh, and you can segment your pri private network using a different IP address and you, you have another, uh, 255 devices to connect. And, and now you have uh, almost uh, uh, more of uh, uh, 50, 50, 50, 50, no, 500 devices connected. But 
that, that is not recommended because the, the, that, that means the, your band, bandwidth will be uh, separate in all the devices. So you, you can uh, have maybe internet issues because the, the, your bandwidth is saturated. Okay, okay, very good. Um, okay, so you can have many different IP addresses uh, created by bridges, you said, right? Yes, uh, you, you, you can have a different IP address private, but you can only one public IP address. The, the public IP address is, is given by the, the internet uh, pro provider for you, like Claro, Tigo, they give you a one uh, public IP address. Okay, very good, very good. Uh, Fernando, it, it, remember it's public. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Public. Yes. Uh, I think. Um, well. Uh, I think I, I mentioned this before to this to many people in this group, but I'll, I'll repeat it because many people have not heard this. But in English, the majority, uh, let's say like mm, sixty-five percent of the of the words that have a U in English are pronounced a. Uh, Right, so in this case, it's not public, but pa a uh, uh, public. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, like I said, it's about sixty-five, seventy percent of the of the words that use use production like you. use like there. Exactly, like production, right? Production. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. So public. Okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Very good. Uh, questions about the IP address? I think I, I know, but I forgot, sorry, what mm -hmm. IP stands for. Oh, good question. Uh, Fernando, Roxana, do you know? Can you tell us? Uh, can you repeat the question? I, I didn't hear. What does IP stand for? What I? IP. Yes. What stands for the letter? The letters. I guess those are initials, right? Ah, what is the means of the IP? The acronym. Uh -huh. The meaning of the acronym. The word I, I. What is the meaning of I? What is the meaning of P? IP. Internet protocol address. Okay. Oh. That is, that is internet protocol. Mm -hmm. Very good. And, and and when we say protocol, sorry, but we say protocol, we are talking about the communication. Fernando. Yeah, the communication. You when you ha are talking about protocols, protocol, you have different protocols of of transfer of data. Uh, maybe the, the of now it is uh, protocol OC. They have seven. The stages of the communication uh, at the beginning you have maybe a, a, when the data start to transfer and at, at the end is when you the that the data is presenting to the user final user for example did this related fernando with http that appear at the beginning of the email address or the or the link of the internet page Yes, yeah, you can relate it uh, with, with that because uh, you can you can watch the name of uh, maybe a web page, but that is a name as a, a domain, the name of the domain of the web page, but uh, behind of the name you have a, a IP address, unique IP address to communicate with with it with then pages, for example. When, when, when I see movies, uh... The, the investigation movies is about uh, they are lo locating or finding the, the IP, the IP of the guy that is they are looking for. Yes, but <laughs> uh, the, the, the movies may sometimes is fake. <laughs> it's not a way to, to do that, but uh, yes, it's, it's something like that. <laughs> okay, thank you, Fernando. Good, excellent. All right, guys, um, I just sent the word on, on the chat. It, so the word is protocol. 
in English we pronounce it pro protocol. Protocol. Not, yeah, protocol. yeah. So not proto, but proto. Proto. Protocol. protocol. The the T is a flap T. Do you, have you guys ever heard of a flap T? All right. Thank you, teacher. Do you, have you guys know, have you ever heard of flap T? No, please explain it. <laughs> Okay, in no. English, it, well, in American English, let me say, because it's not just in every English, but mostly in American English, it, when a, the letter T is between two vowels, we create, we don't pronounce the T like a T. Instead, it sounds more like a between a D and an R. Okay, so we say proto protocol because it's between an, uh, the the two O's. Right, so you spelled it uh, P R O T O C O L. So because of that, we say proto, proto, protocol, not protocol. Okay, protocol. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Protocol. And the other word is this word. We pronounce it data. data. Yeah. So data. not data. Data. No, it's data. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, data. Okay. Good. Excellent. Okay. Um, so I think IP address is pretty clear. I think actually IP address, probably the majority of us are a bit familiar with IP address because uh, we always see it when we want to connect to the internet, right? It um, we we and we see sometimes that it asks us um, to identify the IP address, right? So, okay, good. Let's move on to the next one. All in one concept. All in one concept. Okay. Uh, all in one concept. So. It means that having several different parts or several different functions uh, just in one device. So uh, we can say it so that you can find several functions, but it's just in one uh, device. And so that's it. So. Okay. All right. Can you give me an example? Somebody, not, not so. Somebody else in the group can you give me an example. Uh, one example, it could be, uh, for example, uh, the printer with a scanner, copier, and, and fax. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very, very good. Right. Well, an example is a, a smart TV. Mm -hmm. Smart TV and telephones, mobile telephones, mobile, mm -hmm. mobile telephone mobile and phones. watch, the watch, watches, watches. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Good, 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 excellent. Okay, very good. Uh, this word right there, functions, functions. 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 Mm -hmm. functions. functions. Yeah, functions. Okay, so this is another example of how the U in English is pronounced a. Uh. So it's fa functions, not functions, but fa functions. functions. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Any other questions? No teacher. no teacher. Okay. All right, perfect. Okay, so let's go on to the last group, mass media. Mass media. Okay, for mass media is the communication routes to 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 share information or even to communicate something is when you use the social media, a radio, TV, and well, are the channels to communicate. So that's why the name is mass media because you use 
all the media that is possible. Okay, very good. Okay. Um, so are, is, the, is the example quite clear or do you guys see more examples? Mm -hmm. Well, we were talking about TV, radio, uh, the social media and all the apps that are included on, on that uh, classification, maybe Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and all that um, um, media that wants to communicate uh, advertising, entertainment, an opinion, or something like that to a specific audience or to a large audience. Okay, very good, very, very good. All right. Any other questions? Any other problems? Uh, anything you want to, any comments? Is it pretty clear? I, I was out of the group because I have a problem, but uh, I see the, the, the key word is large. Large is a, a very wide variety of uh, people, of person, and and that is uh, the, the, the key of mass media. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Okay. All right, anything else? So it's clear, mass media is pretty clear. Actually, mass media is now something um, essential, right, for uh, the communication, right? Like uh, nowadays, uh, they use all different channels, right? Especially uh, for publicity. If you want publicity, you need to use mass media, right? Because um, you need to be able to reach uh, the most amount of of, um, of, of people, right? And the only way you can do that is by using mass media because some people use one type of media but not another type of media. So they have to, you have to use all different different um, uh, methods to be able to reach different people. Mm -hmm. Okay, any questions? Anything else you wanna get, you guys wanna ask? But one thing about mass media is that the the, the, the written press, the, the paper print press uh, is uh, uh, staying behind because all the people go to the to the internet to the devices and uh, uh, ten years ago uh, the principal and the press in Salvador printed about uh, two thousand and fifty hundred. Uh, uh, how how do you say uh, magazine? Uh, uh, how do you say what uh, one of the one of the printed uh, periodic? <laughs> I, I don't know say how to newspapers. say newspapers. Paper, okay. News, they newspaper. A, a newspaper, okay. Mm -hmm. they, they printed about uh, two thousand and fifty hundred newspapers. And mm -hmm. now they are printing only, only the thirty hundred. They yeah. they lost uh, about uh, uh, two hundred and twenty thousand of, mm -hmm. of newspaper printed. Yeah, and and not because people are not uh, reading the newspaper anymore. It, it's just that people are now many are preferring to read the newspaper online. Yes. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So they still get the news, uh, but they just read it in a different format. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Uh, you need to use mass media because uh, some people, uh, you know, mostly like m most of like the older generations will prefer the you know printed version of the of the newspaper. But then, you know, the the more the the more younger generation will prefer the the, the digital. Um, newspapers so you have to you have to use different formats right you have to use the mass media to be able to get to different people mm -hmm. good 
Good, 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 good. Okay, excellent. All right, so I think we got it covered. Okay, so now that we understand this vocabulary, we're going to do the following. I don't want you just to have the information in your head and just say, oh, yeah, um, yeah, I know this or this, this meaning, because that's really not knowing the meaning of a word. The only way to really know the meaning of a word is to use it, to actually be able to use it in context. So what we're going to do is the following. Um, I'm, I'm going to be sending to you uh, right now, you guys probably in the group, right? I'm sending you the two, the, the sorry, the eight vocabulary that we just saw, okay? And what you're going to do, I'm going to put you into groups, okay? Um, small groups, not big groups, about three, two or three people in each group. And I want you to create a conversation. Choose four of these words from the eight words. Choose four of them to use in the conversation. Okay, um, you, it doesn't have to be a long conversation. It's only four words. So a short conversation is okay, as long as you use the vocabulary. Four of those eight words, okay? Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The the conversation can be about anything you want. Okay. Um, as long as you use the vocabulary correctly. That's it. Okay. Sounds good, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's uh, recreate the groups. Okay, so um, I don't know if it's going to work, David, but if it doesn't end up working, um, you can, like I said before, you can always go out and come back in. I, I, I already do it. I, I oh. go out and get it again. I, I think it needs to be work. Okay, all right, perfect. That's ho hopefully it will work. Yes. Anybody else is on two devices? No? Okay. All right. So I'm opening the groups. I'm going to give you about 10 minutes to create the conversation. I don't want you to write the conversation. It's not necessary to write it because if you if you start writing it, you're going, it's going to be more than 10 minutes. And I don't want you to waste your time. So you can write like the most important ideas, but don't write the whole conversation. Okay. The most important thing here is using the vocabulary in context. So um, try to a create it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to be presenting the conversation in front of the class. So you do have to remember the, the conversation. Okay. So if you want, you can write the conversation, but not the whole conversation, the ideas. Okay. Sounds good. Do we understand? Yes. Sir. Yeah. Yes. Sir. Okay. All yes. right. Here we go. Let's open the rooms. Roberto Luis, eh, no va a poder participar, ¿verdad? ok, so, it's ok, no problem. Session using four of the words, four of the words, four of the new terms that we are using, that this this, uh, uh, let me see if I can. <coughs> Here, oh, 
Teacher, can you give us permission to share our, our, our screen? Oh, you don't have permission? Okay, just give me a moment I then. Can... Okay, I'll, 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 I'll fix that in a moment. Uh, okay, we you have, be we have done. Yes, yeah, yes, perfect. now okay. we can do it. Great. Okay, we need to use that, that word, is that concept, ICT system. Uh, uh, sorry, teacher, how do we say this word? Feasibility? Feasibility. So sorry? Feasibility. Feasibility, feasibility mm -hmm. study, Yaigo, broadband, and uh, uh, the, the, these other ones, uh, input out performance, IP address, all in one concept, mass media, that one. And uh, uh, here is uh, the beginning of the conversation. You can give me some ideas. But the first line is only that it's okay. I heard that your company is studying a new ICT system. And uh, what do you answer? Uh, let me see. Uh, let me see, let me see. Jose Wilfredo. I, I heard that your company is standing in a new ICT system. What, what do you answer? Something, whatever. Uh, yes, I heard that was the last update that they made from uh, the technology. Is it that is yes, I heard that. Yes, the, the last updated. No, uh, yes, I heard that is the last. Just the last. Yeah, I, when uh, you have to delete that, that is one of that is one of you can delete it. And just I delete what? Yeah. Yeah, you can delete that is. I heard is one is latest. Uh, we could say it's is latest. Okay. Uh -huh. Latest uh update that company. Latest update that company made the company that the company made uh made uh, like in the past this year. No, 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 no. Uh, made, make, made, yes, M yes, yes, M pass, pass. No, sorry, yeah. sorry, yes, yeah. made. Uh huh. Yes, I heard that. I heard, okay. I heard is, I heard that, uh, let me see, let me see. Uh, mm. Yes, I is, heard that is the latest is update. The latest. Yeah. Okay. Is the latest okay. update that the company made this year. Okay, then I know oh, another question. Uh, what is, let me see. What is, uh, okay, no, sorry, sorry. Did you did you or your company made the uh, study before 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 uh, uh, okay. before installing before uh, question mark before. If, oh, we could say before did that. Before, oh, sorry? That, that's okay, that's okay. The, before Stalin? Yes. Before Stalin? And, and, in the and past? The before hmm? Stalin? Uh, make it, okay. Huh? Did you or your company? Because did your did, company yeah, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's in the past. The, uh, uh -huh, that's okay because you are. No, because, the, the because we, 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 we are uh -huh, asking, yes. is Stalin? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Is standing is in the future. Then your company made a feasibility study before installing. Mm -hmm. Like proven and mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Sounds more fluent. That, that's right. So we must talk. Hi, teacher. <laughs> We see you. Hi, girls. <laughs> now we are planning the way how we're going to develop the conversation, and we think that we got it. Okay, wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. we got it. we are going to use four different words. Uh, uh, we are accommodating the conversation like in a daily basis task. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. All right. By the way, the the pronunciation of is gaigo, right? Gaigo. Mm -hmm. Gaigo. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Gaigo. Gaigo. Yeah. Gaigo. Okay, Gaigo. Okay, mm -hmm. got it. Uh, and so we are going to use four words and we hope to make us understand with the rest <laughs> of the team. <laughs> okay, sounds good. All right, go ahead. Pretend that I'm not here. Oh, okay. okay. But I don't know if you, you want that we make like a kind of practice yeah we can practice okay sure. let's go ahead hi hi, Anna. hi Anna claudia how are you i'm doing very well thank you for asking how was you how was your day oh like crazy you know today what i i want i want to to tell you something that happened to me today Adele. What's going on? i have a client and a new project, you know, and it's huge and it's very important to me because I want to win this. But uh, I have to do a feasibility uh, analysis oh. because at the end of all of all the the analysis, I have to tell to the client if this is um, this is going to be successful or not. So with with your with your with your machine. Okay. Uh -huh. With your PC. Oh, yes. Um, hello, Heidi. Uh, how are you? Hi, Dora. How can I help you? I have a trouble with my computer. It is, you know, I, I can't uh, connect it with uh, internet. Okay, Dora, I can help you with that. Please um, give me your IP address so I can make a remote connection. Is my IP address is 11224466. One, one, two, two, four, four, six, six. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. There we go. We are ready, teacher. All right, perfect. Okay, I'll see you in in a few minutes. Okay. So, um, hello, Fernando. I'm searching about a software or a tool, and to publicize my my new web page and. I, Recently, doing some business, so I want to publicize my webpage, and I'm doing a feasibility study, and to decide if it, if if it, it will be worth it. So, what do you think about? What do you recommend to me? Oh, okay, uh, Marcos, uh, I I recommend you to use Wix. Wix is a an ICT system uh, to make web pages online very easy. So they have a lot of tools and you can customize all the web pages that you are, you are making. And that, that is a, a good ICT system too, for doing that. Okay, perfect. And also I am the, um, the um, tool to interact with social media, you know, mass media to publicize my web page is that the ability to, to to do yeah jose marco uh, i recommend you to change your ip address uh like you are in in the united states so in that way you can get can get uh, better promotions uh like your you can change your ip address using a vpn oh okay perfect yeah i hear that when we change the ip address also have some um layer of security extra layer of security, so I will choose to change my IP address. Thanks for the recommendation, guys. Okay, you're welcome. Okay. 
Okay, see you guys. See you next month. <laughs> I think okay. we use the four words that we expect. ICT system, mass media, IP address, specific space. So I don't know if we if you want to write down the for conversation so we have some time. What do you think about? Yeah, we can write it. Uh, so I can say that so uh, that that is like a good idea, so like a, a good investment that you can find. So like get and deal with us, and you yeah. can like show them so that that is that we can make the agreement, so that we can make the deal just for the contract. And yeah. I can say that. And, and I will finish with uh, your hire. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay. Okay, we have the idea. Okay. <laughs> okay. Question? Mm, for me, no. Okay. I so. No. Let's no, improvise. Yeah. No t-shirt. Hello. You guys ready? Hello. Yes, teacher. Yep. Yeah, well, I guess. <laughs> okay, great. I'll see you in a moment then in the main room. Okay. 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 Thank you, teacher. Okay. Uh, okay. Hi, guys. Just check in. Are you guys ready? Hello, yeah, teacher. Hi. <laughs> you ready or not yet? Not yet, I think. Not yet? Okay. Not uh, yet. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to bring you back, guys back to the main room because um, the the majority of the groups are already finished. Um, is there something I can help you with? Some some question you wanna you can ask me? Well, to be honest with you, I don't get uh, at all about the concept, for example, input and output formats, because uh, I, when I uh, looking for that, I read in something like uh, the devices. When you use uh, devices for uh, in the information or out information, but is uh, a little bit difficult because uh, in this way for me it's not a um, common language because the other uh, concept uh, mentions something like uh, bina número binarios exa no sé qué cosas así entonces no estoy muy muy familiarizada con eso con esos conceptos Okay, first of all, if you don't understand something, you don't need to use it. Okay, that's the first thing. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so if, um, so just use the vocabulary that you, you understand, right? So don't use the vocabulary you don't understand, right? To begin with. Um, and um, it, Basically, the input format is is the the values, the numbers that you put into a system, okay? And the output format is how the system gives you the information, okay? So I, I kind of like to use... Um, the example of... The, uh, of the Excel, okay? So uh, for example, in in Excel, the input format would be many times you use it, uh, like to give you an example, uh, you put 
the number, just to give you a very simple example, the input uh, format would be like uh, 16 uh, X two. Okay, which means 16 times two. That's the input format. The output format would be 32. The answer. The answer, mm -hmm. 32. That'd be the output. So you 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 get you put in a, in, a, in a certain format the information and then the output what what is given out the results is in a different format. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. Thank yeah. you. Okay. All right. Perfect. All right. So we're gonna go back to the main group groups right now because um we're gonna hear the the groups. If you do not feel ready, maybe we can we can leave it for tomorrow. Your your group, okay? If you want. Okay. Well, uh, we was talking about uh try to uh improve a conversation about IP address and mass media because mm -hmm. we, we we understand that uh, works. Okay, yeah, yeah. I mean, like I said, use the words that you, you understand best. If you don't understand a word, don't, don't use it, right? Um, but definitely you do need to understand it, right? But don't use it in the conversation. It's not necessary. Okay, okay. all right. So I'm gonna we're gonna return back to the main room. Okay. 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 We can hear you, teacher. Thank you. Yes, we don't hear <laughs> you. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, are you guys ready? I think yes, teacher. Perfect. Okay, let's start with group number one. So we have David, Jose, and Juan Miguel. Okay, teacher, we have a right. We write the dialogue. Okay. Here it is. And okay. the source is missing one go here. Okay. And uh, I don't know, Juan Miguel, if you can read the four lines, first four lines. Okay, I'm trying to. I yeah, heard go that ahead. you. Go ahead. I heard that your company is installing a new ICT system. Yes, I heard I heard this. Yeah. I heard it is the last the latest update that the company made this year. Did you or your company make the feasibility study before to install? Yes, of course. They made it and also remember that the GIGO option needs to be implemented implemented to achieve more clients. Okay, so you read the rest of the conversation, please. Okay, cool. Just okay, then. so yeah. sorry, guys. I'm going to stop you for a moment. Um, okay, so since it's a conversation, uh, can you guys play it out like a conversation? Like a role. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. like a real conversation. Okay, I, I, I read the questions and uh, Jose will read the answers, please. Sure. Yep, sure. Okay. I heard that your company is sending a new ICT system. Yes, I heard it is the latest update that the company made this year. Did you or your company make the feasibility study before to sell? Yes, of course they made. And also remember that the JIO option needs to be implemented to achieve more clients. What will be the problem of the system? I don't know, but I think that it has the greatest capability in the market enough to download the multiple 
in the multiple computers at the same time for the company devices. Okay, do you think they will be launched in social media? Yes, it is one of the projects in the future. Okay, right. teacher, that's all. Very good, bravo, excellent. Okay, very good. Let's go on to the next group number two. It's Ana Claudia and Ileana. Okay. Hi, Ileana. Hello, Ana Claudia, how are you? I'm doing very well, thank you for asking. What about you? Oh, very good, have a great day. Crazy and great day, you know. Oh, really? Yeah, well, let me tell you a, a little bit about my day. Um, at work, I have a kind of new project and it's something very new for me, but I realized that I have to do a feasibility study and I'm very new on this. So I had to go to the place and I have to see something about the geographic area, you know, Mm. It's very new for me, but I know I can win this. And yeah, that happens to me today. But I remember that you told me uh, someday that you have a, a little bit of experience in this. So I really want to ask <laughs> you for an advice if, if you can. Not a problem, of course. You know what? I found like a kind of program. It's a system. Uh, you need to install it. And I, I'm going to send it to you uh, on an email, or maybe I, I will share you this program on a USB. And it's like uh, you just need to input and output. It's a format that you need to input and output the data. And uh, it helped me a lot because whenever you feel the word, for example, is uh, showing you today you are going to start the feasibility and is depending on what you're looking for it provides you the values when is the appropriate or the windows time frame to complete this project and the good thing of this is that always every step you're filling in every word in this format uh you can immediately print it out in a different format that is easy for your customer to understand. But the bad thing is that as you work this online, you don't waste your time and your customers times too. So that is uh, the, the good thing. So it, it's a format, it's an in, input and output format. It's something simple to do. And I'm pretty sure you will be able to, to, to work with it. I hope not to send you beside that a lot of gigo gigo right <laughs> i hope not to worry <laughs> no uh, okay i'm going to wait for the uh, the usb and if i have questions i will call you yeah you need to ask also to uh, your it department the the um, band uh, broadband uh, to run this uh, program is appropriate i don't know if it's something you need to ask to them. Okay, I'm going to take the advice too. Actually, now that you mentioned broadband, I have another problem. That's, the first one wasn't a problem, was more, was more uh, something new that I want to tell you. But the second, yeah, was a problem because I had a meeting with uh, people of different countries and we had troubles with the okay. connection, the, with the, the connection, sorry. And maybe I think, I, I have to ask to the IT department about the broadband to, well, don't have problems with future meetings and with the program that you that you mentioned before. Yeah, but, because when you are working on that, using it, you will be using a lot of resources and maybe the bandwidth uh, will be affecting the connection with, with your uh, colleagues. It's something that you don't want to uh, also make a mess on them right <laughs> make a mess okay, okay. thank you Nicole. it was a very pleasure to talk to you today and i have to we can maybe go for a coffee next week not a problem tomorrow and i will be bringing to you the us we see you okay thank you bye, bye. <laughs> bravo, bravo. <laughs> excellent very good i loved the the fluency Excellent. Very good, girls. Very yeah. good. Okay, let's move on to Dora and Heidi. Okay, teacher. Okay. 
our conversation is really small, but okay, it's okay, no problem. Okay, a Go short ahead. conversation. Yeah. Uh, hello, Heidi. How are you? Hey, hello, Dora. How can I help you? Uh, uh, I need I need to help me with uh, my computer. I have a pro uh, troubles. Uh, I'm What's my the problem? There's no connection with the internet. Okay, let me help you with that. Uh, I just need you to give me your IP address and I'll try to make a um, remote connection so I can help you with that. Okay, my IP address is uh, 00 1122468. Okay, if the broadband is working okay, we'll be ready in two minutes. Okay, thank you. Very good. I love I love how you solve that problem quickly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very good. Okay. All right. Fernando Jose William. Um, um hello Fernando. Um I'm searching about a tool or software to publicize my new web page. I'm doing some business, so I'm doing like a feasibility study. To verify if my investment will be worthy in the medium and long term, what do you recommend to me? Uh, okay, uh, I recommend you, Marcos, uh, to use uh, an IC system named Wix. Wix is a, is a platform to, to make web pages online, it's very easy to use. You have a lot of tools for building in the way that you want to to customer you want to the customer see your page and you can put inside all the all your content uh, and you can you 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 have to pay for doing that but it's it's very recommended to use it oh, okay okay I, I think i hear it before uh, i think we can connect uh, with social media i can post some uh, um, yes, you, you have, a, you have guys, different um, plugins for, for doing mm, okay, You have different okay. plugins for doing or to connect with Facebook. You, you can put your at your links or your your sites, uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, TikTok, whatever. Okay. You want. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 because uh, I want to reach more um, market through the mass media channel. It would be helpful. And William Alexander, um, what do you recommend to me in terms of security? Hey, Marcos, I recommend you to change your IP address. Like you are uh, in the United States. So in that way, you can get uh, better promotions. You can use it uh, like a VPN. It is an app and it is a safe way and you can uh, buy and get your system and cheaper and, and enjoy your purchase and be able to use it in your business. Okay, yeah, and also add an extra layer of security to my, my system and my website. Thank you guys for foundations. You're welcome. Very good, very good, bravo, excellent, okay. I love, I love also as well the, there's a lot of fluency there too. Okay, uh, now we'll hear Fernando, Francisco, and Jose Osmin. Okay. Uh, good evening, Francisco. Hello, Fernando. Okay, it's Thursday. Try to our weekly meeting for discuss about new project. Do you remember the last meeting we agreed uh, you will do a feasibility st study to get a new devices for increase our broadband? Did you do? Right, I did. Uh, as uh, you tell me, I, 
I uh, invested uh, about a different provider because uh, I I know the um, needed to the company to increase the the broadband in order to uh, 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 incorporate a ICT system and and I found uh, uh, two providers but I think uh, uh, one provider uh, I for this project uh, is better because in in my um uh, facility is uh, is the the better option in the relation and the cost benefit. Uh, in now and I invite uh, invite a uh, uh, a representative a uh, uh, assistant for this uh, meeting and he uh, explain uh, uh, more about the. Uh, the all ICT uh, system for for increase the the broadband. Uh, uh, I okay. present. Uh, sorry. Yeah. So let let me provide more details oh, about it. So, low to that you can like find a better uh, high speed so that that will help you a lot. So in order that you can like get a good communication tool, so you will see uh, the pro, the process that you will that you can find with our contract. However, so remember that. So with our contract, so that you will uh, have like around six months that you can like uh, check so the high speed. So if that is something that so you don't like, so you can let let us know so and we can find the best way or the best solution in, in order that you can feel comfortable with our uh, product. And that will be a great deal that, that we can make. Okay. Uh, what is it? Okay, very good. All Hi. right, bro. Excellent, very, very good. Okay, um, all right, let's see. Um, Ramon and Roxana, are you ready or do you wanna do it until tomorrow? No, we can, we can do it. Okay, wonderful, all right, let's hear you. Hi. No, Roberto, Ramon. Hello, Roxana. Ramon, Ramon. Ramon, I'm sorry. How are you? How are you, Roxana? I'm fine. Okay, I'm fine. So far, so good. Well, I was uh, wondering if you have any problem with your network connection. You know, nowadays, uh, we need to uh, be connect all the time because uh, some people work from home or... Uh, I think that uh, we need to uh, do some tra bank transfers in the app mo mobile um, and something like that. And, you know, I was wondering if what happened when you are getting connected to a public uh, network, for example, imagine when you are visiting a um, uh, public place like uh Parque Cuscatlan, you know, we we can get a uh, Wi-Fi there, but uh, it's a little um, weird when you uh, you need to um, answer some emails or uh, doing some uh, bank uh, operation, and you don't have internet by yourself in your cell phone, and you need to get some uh, internet about a uh, public place. So what happened when you get uh, that type of uh, internet connection? Uh, because, uh, you know, different uh, and weird person uh, get that IP address. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's dangerous to connect in a public uh, internet. And when, if you need to, 
uh, have or make uh, some um, transaction about your uh, e-bank, um, you need to connect in a in private, private network. Um, because uh, if you make a transaction in a public, is is uh, something I don't recommend. Um, but you, uh, I think you have to go to your house or your something like uh, your work. I think that's a very um uh something or some network more secure yeah well the last time i was uh, reading something in social uh, networks that mentioned something like hackers and you know it's a little uh, dangerous because uh, you can use your uh, home connection but you can get uh, maybe a spam message in your email or, or uh, different advice in your uh, computer because some people try to or can get a free connection for, from your house, house, home. So it's a, yeah, it's a little sicker, but in the other hand, it's uh, dangerous because, uh, you know, mass media right now is the top for, uh, for, the, uh, for the war maybe because uh, some uh, people always are connecting to uh, social networks or uh, radio or TV or something like that. So if, dangerous in general because uh, you you can uh, get connection from your house your home but uh, someone always try to connect or get a free connection for for you from you yeah yeah that's true uh, um i think uh are some apps uh, in uh, for sorry for uh, your cell phone that you can um, I don't know um, hack your network about your home and may connect in, in you don't you don't know um, for example, your your TV, uh, smart TV, sorry, uh, can connect in a Wi-Fi, and 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 then the other person uh, may take or can get the the access to the TV, and 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 you don't know. Yes, that's right. It's a little dangerous. You can uh, get connection from your house, your home, to working from home or your personal uh, operation, but it's a little complex. That's true. Okay. That is true. Okay, very good. Bravo. Excellent. Okay. Very interesting conversation there. Okay. Good. Just a reminder. Um, how do we pronounce this word? Public. Mm -hmm. Public. Good. Public. Public. Okay. Excellent. Just reminding everybody. Okay. Very good. All right, guys. Um, that will be the end. Uh, we've come to the end of our class. Before I, uh, if we finish off, though, I do need to take attendance. So we'll do this very quickly. Ana Claudia. Yes, sir, teacher. David. Uh, David Samuel. Yes, sir, teacher. Dora Elizabeth. Present. Fernando Ernesto. Present. Fernando Marvin. Present. Eh, Francisco Eduardo. Present teacher. Hey, um, 
Heidi Eugenia. Present teacher. Eliana Giselle. Present. Harvin Isaac. Harvin Isaac. Okay. Um, Jose Marcos. Present. Jose Osmin. Present. Jose Wilfredo. Present teacher. Juan Miguel. Present teacher. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Uh, Ramon Enrique. Ramon Enrique. Present teacher. Okay, good. Roberto Luis. Roberto Luis. Roberto. Okay. Um, and uh, finally, uh, Roxana. Present. Okay. Uh, William uh, Alexander. Present. And Suleyma Yvonne. Okay. All right, guys and girls, so that will be all. Um, according to the list, um, I am going to be staying with David. David Samuel. All right, so that's yes, it, guys. Teacher. Um, so, David, you can stay behind for for our 10-minute session um, if you want. If not, well, uh, uh, that will be all for today, guys. I will see you tomorrow, okay? All right. Oh, by the way, just uh, una preguntita. ¿Todos tienen ya acceso a la plataforma? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Yes. yes. Nobody has any problems? No, teacher. Oh, perfect. Okay, wonderful. In that case, guys, um, see you tomorrow. Okay, I'll just stay with David. All right, take care. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye. Have a good night. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. All right, David. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Are you? Good. I'm very good. Okay, so I'm here to help you. Any questions that you have at this moment? No, teacher. I, I only think that I need to improve my pronunciation. I, I think that that is my my principal need in this time. Okay. Okay. Good. 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 That's that's okay. That's clear. That that's something normal. We we know we always need to improve something. Um. Actually, yeah. One of the things that you can do is start by remembering what I told you that the majority of the words in English, between sixty five and seventy percent of the words, have when you have the letter U. We print in, especially if it's in the middle of a word, it's pronounced a, uh, not u. But uh, so for example, in the word prena pronunciation, not pronunciation, it's prena 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 right. uh, pronunciation. pronunciation. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. Okay, so something that you can do to to improve is that like try to pay attention to those words where the u is in the middle of the word, and you and try to always remember to pronounce it uh. Okay, pronunciation. Pronunciation. Mm -hmm. Pronunciation. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. All right. So that that may help you a little bit. Um, what do you do to pronounce to improve your pronunciation? Uh, I only try to listen to uh, some uh, audio videos, but that's all for the moment. Good. Okay. Excellent. All right. What kind of audios? What kind of videos do you do you see? Uh, I see that there are some uh, videos that uh, this guy that they analyze some movies and uh, they do the pronunciation in a slow way that you can hear or something like that. Okay. All right. So is that like on YouTube? Yes. Perfect. Okay, very good. Yeah, it, the more you can you can try to um, listen to native speakers and try to repeat 
that that same pronunciation right of the of the native speakers right little by little it, it's something that um it takes time but let me let me also ex um remind you about something sometimes some people say oh i i don't want to speak with an accent but the truth david is that everybody has an accent everybody even native speakers, we have accents. Depending on where you are from, you have an accent. So it's okay to have an accent, it's okay, okay? So there's no problem with having an accent. Um, and speaking about as accents, some, some even native speakers, we pronounce words differently. Right, so uh, for example, the word, the word, like I pronounce it often, often, but many other people pronounce it often, right? And that's and both of them are correct. There's no problem. So sometimes with the pronunciation, you don't have to be exact, and that's the beauty about English, is that many times. The word doesn't have to be exact. People will still understand you. But of course, I do understand what you're saying that, you know, you want to um, improve the pronunciation. That's good. That's very good. Just don't don't um, be fixated that, you know, has to be perfect because really in English, most pronunciations are not perfect. In fact, there are some words that, even dictionaries, different dictionaries, they will not agree on the on the correct pronunciation of the word. So just don't get so fixated on it. But yes, I, I do understand that you want to improve it. So um, the best bet that you have is to um, watch videos and movies with native speakers. Yeah, and try to to copy their pronunciation. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you have any questions of specific words, for example, that you you're having problems with? By now, I'll teach her, but in the in the when uh, in the course, I will ask you. <laughs> okay, I I suggest you do something. Keep a log. Keep a log, um, whether on your cell phone or. A notebook, any words that you come up and you say, oh, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, write them down so that during the class, you can ask, teacher, how do you pronounce this word? You can, and if you don't know how to pronounce it, you can write it in the chat and it will help you to pronounce the word, right? Okay, because some, some words can be a little tricky. Okay. Right? Okay. Excellent. All right, sounds good. Any questions, anything else that you want to ask or anything? No teacher, that's okay. Okay, all right, great. In that case, um, David, I'll let you go so you can rest a bit. Okay. Okay. Thank and you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Okay. See you tomorrow, all right. teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye.